how to use Printify with Amazon. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Printify account to your Amazon. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to connect and also sign in into your account within Printify. It is not all, but you need to associate a store within your Printify. As you can see, I have associated my uh, right there Shopify, Etsy and Wix right there website to my Printify. So how you can add a store, you're going to click on the right there uh, drop down menu. You're going to click on add a new store. Then you have the choice to choose one of these sales channels. So we have Etsy, Shopify, TikTok, eBay, Squarespace, Wix, WooCommerce, and etc. But unfortunately, we do not the, uh, have the connection directly to our Amazon shop or your Amazon right there seller account. So how we can do that, simply go ahead into your Amazon seller central, go ahead and create an account within this platform because you need to be a seller within Amazon. So if you are not a seller, you cannot sell them anyway. This is uh, something obvious. How you can join the central or the seller central on Amazon, you are going to click on or uh, go ahead first to the website of sellercentral.amazon.com. Then you are going to sign up. Here it is not a free thing to do, but you need to set uh, some uh, information. I'm going to set right there the password of my account. I think this is the uh, Amazon normal account, not the uh, seller central yet but you're going to provide them some for the business information or they like the location of their residency. I'm going to set right there for the sake of the video, an example of the United States. So we are going to uh, business and here you are going to confirm. Then uh, you are going to set the uh, business name, for example, like that, Jack Smith. And here we have it. Then you are going to click on agree and continue and provide the more information demanded from the platform itself. So after you have set up your uh, Amazon seller central account, you're going to be an official seller within the platform. Then all you need to do is to go ahead right there and fill up the information from the business information, seller information, the link and create your store. And the final step is the verification of the documents that you have provided if there was. So now back to the Printify. Printify needs to be set or uh, right there linked to a store. I usually use uh, Shopify or Etsy. Go ahead and connect your shop or right there your sales channel of Shopify. For example, you're going to type the URL of your Shopify store. Then you're going to connect it. As you can see, my store is connected. All of my stores are connected. So we need to set up the product first before uh, passing through Amazon. So we are going to right there Printify. Then I'm going to the catalog and choose, for example, T-shirts. And here we have the T-shirt. So first thing that you need to do is to get the image of that T-shirt. So like this one, you're going to save that image as a PNG. Then when you finish saving that image as a PNG, you're going to the seller central. Then you are going to list it. Go ahead and list it and it will be going to be published like this. For example, for this one, I have typed a search right there on the uh, Amazon uh, search bar right there. Print on demand t-shirt. Here we have your design or your text here. So this is a specialized store on the uh, Amazon. As you can see, the name is personalize it. So we are going to set up the mockup from here. Now, after you have set everything, you're going to set the delivery. Also, the shipping is going to be right there from Printify. How we can do that, you're going to apply the API or connect the API of Amazon to your Printify. You're going to see right there, connect to API. Then you are going to give your store name on Amazon like that. Go ahead, for example, Jack Smith, for example, like that. Continue. 
then you are going to set the uh, right there uh, printify uh, API connection and you are going to fulfill that you are going to set up the shipping within printify so whenever you receive an order on Amazon like this person for example if I go ahead and choose a t-shirt and then I'm going to select that t-shirt and I'm going to write a note for the design also the photo or the text that I'm going to add you can go ahead and buy for example or add it to the list you're going to see a note field on this one and then you are going to fill it for the information also you're going to set up the images and etc this person or this right there seller is going to print or set the uh, product uh, print right there onto the printify store that he owns so once he has or she has done that you're going to receive your order if you have till now followed all the steps that we have provided on this video you will notice that nothing is complicated nothing also is automated but everything is going to be manually right there from the listing you're going to select the mockups and set them onto amazon central or uh, seller central or right there and then you're going to set uh, the product listing like that you're going to put the title the description and also you're going to set the as you can see right there the variants now for the designs i highly recommend you to set some designs at least for the customer to know uh, how the product will be or the final version of that product will be so we are going to need and create a product from here so go ahead to the catalog make sure to create your own product from here adapt it to your own taste for example i will go ahead and select this one after i have of course uh, downloaded the mockup itself then we are going to design some uh, the mockups and also some uh, ready to be uh, right there um, war uh, like that t-shirts so all we need to do is to upload for example let's go ahead and upload a logo i'm going to upload any logo that i find on my computer i have created some logos and also some designs on to canva i think then we are going to set it right there so make sure that you are going to download or upload only the background free or the removed background images like that so it will not affect the font and also the color of the uh, t-shirt and here we are going to select the variants for example this one that one this and that etc go ahead and choose the, the much variety that is a set right there from printify click on save product here we have the front and back side of course after you have saved the product you're going to see the models and also all the colors all the sides of that and all of these you're going to download them you can go ahead and download these mockups and list them into your Amazon or their account and also listing so when you finish you're going to click on publish these automatically are going to be published into your Shopify store so make sure to have one and then you are going to get all of the information also the variants from there if you couldn't download the images from here you're going to get them from Shopify it is much easier now let's talk about the shipping also the fulfillment the fulfillment right there you are going to place the orders how you can go ahead and place the orders it is very simple whenever a client go ahead and get an order from your store on Amazon you're going to get and copy all of the information of that specific individual and also the specific client you're going to click on orders from here and then you can either go ahead and CSV import them like that you can go ahead and get that uh, specific uh, right there benefits from Amazon you can go ahead and export all of the orders from Amazon and then you can import them as a CSV from here because the export will be automatically as CSV then you're going to import them in bulk or you can create for each individual client a order manually for example when you click on create order we have manual bulk or sample so you're going to set for example manual and then we have the product to select 
for example i have created this product so i am going to click on it and then we are going to commence or begin the filtering the client has demanded or ordered the white one so we are going to click on it and for the size we're going to select for example for the sake of the video m or medium so now you're going to set the shipping you can add a product to the order if uh, some you have some complementary ones and then you are going to the shipping we're going to put the first name last name email and phone number of the client if you have required them on the amazon shop that you own and also you can go ahead and set the shipping address go ahead and paste your customer here as you can read apartment street city set state right there and zip code and then you are going to set the recipient address go ahead and calculate the shipping you are going to set a standard shipping from amazon and then you are going to be good to go that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one